I'm not really a big, a big fan of these uh, glucose disposal agents, which is going to supposedly help to lower your blood sugar naturally. Um, you got cinnamon and chromium, and we know chromium really only works if you're chromium deficient, it doesn't do anything. Berberine seems to have somewhat of a, a similar effect to um, a metformin. The problem is you can't quantify these things. That, that's my problem with these things. You, you don't really know how much to take. I found personally, just through experience with my own self, because I'm a little, you know, my blood sugars can run high a little bit if I eat too many, uh, too much carbs. If I eat like pizza and stuff like that, it's very calorie dense with a lot of fats. I find that it, my blood pressure, my blood pressure, my blood sugars can stay a little elevated in the 120s and 130s um, for longer than I would like. And what I found is that the best thing that lowers it, I've done experiments with all these different things, is um, fish oil, okay? Fish oil and, and palmitoleic acid, which is an omega-7 fat. Now, I have in my omega lyse formula fish oil, palmitoleic uh, acid, which is omega-7 fat, and then, of course, evening primrose oil. But those, those two, the fish oil and the um, palmitoleic acid, absolutely sensitize those insulin receptors better. And there's no better evidence for that than... If you're dieting and, you, and you're having trouble losing weight, a lot of bodybuilders, especially back from the 90s and, and used to do this in the 2000s, you go to an all-fish diet and boom, the weight starts coming off you. Because fish, because of the you know, good fats in there, the fish oils, omega-3 fats, sensitize insulin receptors and make you much more insulin sensitive. You produce less insulin to absorb the same amount of you know, glucose from the bloodstream. And that to me works really well. I'm not saying berberine and some of these um, cinnamon, all these other things don't have its place and don't work, but they're just unquantifiable, meaning that you don't really know how much to take to get any benefits, and you don't really know if it's even working or not. So um, if your blood sugars are running high, okay, to the, when I'm talking about high, I mean when you test your fasting blood sugar in the morning, if it's over, um, if it's over 90, that's considered a little high, but if it's over 100 or at the 100 mark or over, you're high. At that point, you might be wanting to look into taking a longer-acting insulin um, because that means that your pancreas is just not keeping up. Now, a lot of people see this when they start taking growth hormone because growth hormone works kind of antagonistically to insulin and it can make you insulin resistant. So um, rather than try to you know, take these natural supplements that most of the time don't do anything to change any of this because I've seen it in clients that I work with, um, I'd rather see you take... Um, a long-acting insulin to alleviate the stress on your pancreas. However, on a regular basis for good health and good insulin sensitivity, if you're not going to eat fish all day, which most people won't unless they're dieting, just take a good fish oil supplement. 